Hello, and this is Theme Park Squib, and welcome to the show for August 2019. So yes, it's the August show. We have left July now. The month of July has happened, and it's crazy to think it is August now. July was quite a quiet month for the channel. We were uploading stuff from June and May still, as we did have a lot of videos to get on. Uh, but uh, yeah, August will be better. We've got some trips uh, coming up. Uh, we're going to... Um, I'm in Cyprus in a few weeks' time, so we will be going to a small park out there called Paphos Luna Park. It's a small park. They've got a caterpillar there, a ferris wheel, a couple of other rides, so there'll be a vlog from that. And also in a few weeks' time, we will be going back to Plopsaland de Pain. Yes, we'll be going back to a fantastic park of Plopsaland in Belgium. Do love the European parks. We'll be going there for a day, and uh, oh, that'll be a vlog from that one. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy it when it's online. Also, videos now online from the channel from the last show. We've had the Hotels vlog from Alton Towers. We've also had the Day 2 from Alton Towers. And a vlog from Legoland Windsor where you see my opinions of the Haunted House Monster Party. Also, there'll be a vlog coming. The next vlog will actually be from the Formula 1 British Grand Prix. I was at there at the other weekend. It was a brilliant couple of days. So there will be a vlog from there. Something a bit different, but uh, I hope you do like something a bit different as well. So let's get into the first part of the show. We've got a lot to talk about this month. So much has happened in the month of July. So let's get into news headlines. So this month in news headlines we have got a lot to talk about, mainly actually about Halloween. It's quite crazy. We've just gone into August and uh, they're already announcing Halloween. They're doing it in June, weren't they? Uh, Alton Towers announced all their lineup, but uh, mainly now it is for Park. Bright Nights have announced their returning mazes and a couple of clues for their brand new mazes for this year. So first, Fright Nights will be in, starting at the end of September and ending at the start of November. And the first maze that's been confirmed to return is Platform 15. It's been there since 2016. It was there to celebrate the 15th birthday of Fright Nights. It's a maze that's situated in the old town section of the park. It starts at the old train station and goes round the old Canada Creek railway track, ends the other side of Loggers Leap's old station, round the Loggers Leap area. It's mainly based on around like a train that's gone missing. There's a village section and all that round there as well. Also returning is Screenplex Cinema. This is not a scare maze. It is a cinema, 4D cinema attraction. It's situated in the Angry Birds 4D Cinema, which is the attraction that's there all year round, and it's... Yeah, so they've got the cinema in there for Halloween, showing some Halloween shows. They've got a return of a show, which is the fearful feature. Go down to the uh, go go down to the wilder and don't move, which is a returning show. And there's a brand new show, which is the creepy cut stitching and sucker blood. I didn't do this last year. I'm not a fan of how it's an attraction at the park. It's not really what I go to a theme park to sit and watch a mini horror film. Uh, but it's gonna. I'm not probably not gonna do it. It's a waste of time. It's on every hour, and it's just taking time out of doing those scare mazes. Also returning this year will be the Walking Dead Living Nightmare, which is one of the two Walking Dead mazes. It originated back in 2017. It's the indoor Walking Dead maze. It's in Old Town. It's situated behind the old Slammer ride in X's old extension queue line in that building there. And what it is, it's based around the Walking Dead. You go around, I think it was the first scare attraction to use scenes from season seven. And you go in, you meet Negan, and he wants his stuff back. I'm not going to use some of the language he uses in there. And you go through scenes from the TV show, a mashup of scenes. It's basically you're on the brink of the saviors who. I believe, are owned by Negan. And you're going through, say, you go through a hospital, you go, we did do a behind-the-scenes maze tour, so check out that behind-the-scenes maze tour, where we learn a bit more about what the scenes were from the programme in there. You also go through a prison, there's a strobe maze, there's a bus, and it's just a really good maze. It's my favourite maze last year, and it's so good to see it return. Also returning this year is a second Walking Dead maze, which is the Walking Dead Do or Die. This is an outdoor attraction, much like Platform 15, and it originated last year, actually. It's one of the new mazes for last year. And it's situated, it's got outdoor scenes and shipping containers. You do go inside. It's situated where Bounce Hill is at the moment, so between the lake and Zodiac on that footpath there. It was a good maze, it was based around, it was basically a reinvented sanctum that was in 2017's event, and that was quite a shocking maze, and that was over on Swarm Island. So it got moved there, had a new story. It's about, basically, you're going to this safe zone, but uh, not all is it, it's at seams. So you're trying to escape the walkers, 
who are the zombies out of The Walking Dead. And you come in, and it is a bit dodgy when you go in, and you find out they're cannibals. So, mainly a cannibal maze, quite a different type of maze. It was a good maze. It's an outdoor maze as well, and then there's a bit of zombie action at the end, because it's a Walking Dead maze, you're obviously going to get a bit of zombie action. Also returning this year is Blair Witch. The Blair Witch maze has been there for years. It started back in 2013, I believe, as the Blair Witch Project, and started up where Timber Tub Boat is now, and made its way right the way down to Umber Rapids. It continued all the way for 2014-15, and then for 2016, to celebrate the release of the new movie Blair Witch, instead of being the Blair Witch Project, it did become just Blair Witch. Uh, and um, it had a bit of theme and upgrade, but then for 2017, it wasn't at the event, due to, I think, licensing deal with Lionsgate, who are the company who owned the movie of the Blair Witch. But then for 2018, Blair Witch did return, but with a new maze route, starting next to the X I'm a Celebrity building, which now holds... Jungle Escape. It started there and then went down right the way down to the Nemesis Inferno exit where you went quite a smaller maze. It looks like it's having some big changes for this year as there's a bit of route changing people have been seeing from Monk's Walk. So it wasn't my favourite maze last year. It was quite a weak maze I find. I did go in it in light. They did open it early due to power cuts around the park when we were there. It wasn't the best but hopefully this year it's a lot better because I think a bit of a letdown was I've never been in the Blair Witch shed before and I really want to see what was in the shed. Uh, not uh, quoting Mystic Timbers there at King's Island, but nothing in there really, just actors with torches. But it was a good maze, quite a different maze. Not something necessarily scary, but there's stuff jumping out. Some with a stick in their eye, tents everywhere. But it looks like they've changed the layout up this year. Also returning is Containment. This is a paid extra attraction, the only paid extra at the moment. We don't know if any more attractions are going to be paid extras at the event, it's a escape room basically, and it's located in a container or a building next to Death Charge. And basically, you've got to get a cure for this disease, and you're going through fears. I've never done it. Don't think I'm going to do it because why is there any point paying uh, for an attraction when the rest are all free? They're all included in your admission. We don't know about the other attractions that haven't been announced yet this year, but I'll get onto them a bit later on. But yes, it's a paid extra. Started off in 2015 actually. Uh, so it's been going for a good four or five seasons now at the event. And uh, yeah, people do it. I don't think I've seen anyone really go in there, but hopefully this probably is going to be its last year. Uh, I don't know if it's going to come back, but I heard it, it does have changes uh, each season. Next, though, we had on the website three new fears. So new fears were like, they're not that announced yet of attractions that will be coming to the park. Also, before we get on to uh, that, it's just there's three new fears. So first is new fear one, which says it's join us for a demonstration of dread in this never before seen Fright Nights show. So this ain't going to be a scare mode, this is going to be a show, but I'm thinking where is it going to go? Is it going to be where the big top showtime was last year? Or is it going to go somewhere else on the island? Because I haven't really got any show venues, the arena's now gone and the only show they do there, isn't it? Ministry of South, no, it's Club MTV this year, and that and that was Big Top last year, so um, we don't know about this one, it's going to be a show, so not scare me, something different to the event, and uh, yeah, so see what this attraction will be. Next is New Fear 2, which is new for 2019, have you got the guts to take on this chilling challenge? What is this going to be? This sounds like an escape room or a challenge attraction. What was new for this year? Jungle Escape. Maybe we're going to see a horror version of Jungle Escape that opened this year, replacing I'm a Celebrity. Maybe we're going to see a horror version of that. Or are we going to see another attraction, maybe with Saw Alive getting a refresh for this year? We don't know, but something is going to come into that space. Next is New Fear 3, which says, Brace yourself and prepare for the gruesome worst as you take on this new for 2019 horror maze. So we are going to get a new maze for this year, this confirms that it's going to be a maze, but where is it going to go? I think we've got some uh, things on that. So there's been teasers, work on the Logger's Leap station, nothing's been happening and finally it is. And there's been scaffolding, cure line fences came out, some like trees with blood on, some flowers have came out, and uh, there's been teasers for Dead Creek Sawmill Limited. So is this going to be the new attraction, Dead Creek Saw Mill. That might not, might not be the official name, but is it going to be a sequel to Dead Creek Woods? 
or is it going to be something else on the pitch stage of these two? Is a scarecrow, so maybe it's going to be you going through the old Lockers Leap Station because it looks like they're covering up all the old queue lines. So that's going to mean Platform 15 might have a queue relocation. But it's going to look interesting in finally getting back in the Lockers Leap Station for all these years. And hopefully, will this tea, something's going to happen to Lockers Leap. I doubt it, uh, but uh, something is going to happen to Lockers Leap eventually. And we finally got something happening over there. So let's get on to the sad stuff, which is the stuff that is not returning. And so first the Dead Creek Woods that was a maze that was brand new for last year. It was a maze that started up where Timber Tugboat and went down right to the maintenance area near Bush Barbecue last year. Now it's um, Wilderness Bar and Grill. You exit, exited there but um, now uh, it's not coming back for this year. Not that we know of yet. Also Saw Alive which has been going since 2010. That's not coming back. I think it's that was, it's 10 years since Saw the Ride this year, but it's not coming back Saw the Ride. It's been a staple at the event for a good few years. Also, Vulcan Peak, which was another new maze for last year. It was in the Arm of Celebrity building. It was a hooded maze. It didn't do too well. I actually did enjoy it, but it uh, looks like that's not coming back. And the Scare Zones, both of the new Scare Zones last year are not coming back, which were Terror at Amity High, which is like a vampire Grease-style scare um, zone, over at... Um, around the Stealth Plaza, and also the Big Top Showtime, which was the show that I was talking about earlier, Inside the Dome was a scare zone as well with the clowns, a sequel to the Big Top Scare Maze. Next, Chesington World of Adventures uh, have announced their Halloween, details about their Halloween event this year. It will be running from October the 12th until November the 3rd, with uh, a new maze for this year called Spiders, with a Y in there, not an I. Uh, so this sounds more like a new attraction. It looks like Creepy Caves and Trick or Treat Wood are returning, but it doesn't look like Curse of the Lost Tomb will be returning, so maybe this new attraction, Spiders, is going to be a replacement to that. It's obviously going to have a arachnid theme to it. And yeah, we'll uh, see that at Halloween. Chessington is a good place at Halloween. Next, actually, some news from Clacton Pier, as they have announced a Halloween event called Fear on Sea, which, and the Halloween event, Clacton Pier's pretty local to me, so I think we're definitely going to be going down there for this event this year. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be running every Friday and Saturday in October, and also on the 31st of October and the 1st and 2nd of November. And the price will be 19 99 and what that will include will include all the adult rides at the attraction, uh, act, more actors, more shows around, so entertainment around the pier. Also, will include a round of golf, their brand new round golf course. You'll get around there. You also get a, a drink as well included in the price. But there will be a scare maze in the Jolly Roger Theatre, I think, which is a big theatre, has a circus show. So it looks like there'll be a big scare maze in there, which is going to be the star attraction of Clapton Piers Fear on Sea, so we'll probably definitely be down there doing the regulars like Fort Park Fright Nights, Alton Tales, Scare Fest and Chessington Halloween. We'll probably be down at Clapton Pier as well to see what's going on around there. Next, Adventure Island have actually opened a new ride. It's not Axis, which is the Pendulum ride they opened a couple of months back now, but they've actually opened a new family ride called Chewville, which is uh, situated underneath the break run for Green Screen, which is the park's Zierra Tivoli coaster. And uh, yeah, new train. It was actually a refilm of the old, I think it was the Choo Choo train, which was a circular red train. It's been there for years, a childhood classic for me. They've refilmed that and moved it there on the site of the old safari train, this is. And they've built a whole western town set at the back. It looks brilliant. Reminds me a bit of Devil's Creek Goldmine, which was the old track ride they used to have at the park. So, yeah, it's a red band ride, so it's for little kids, but we'll set, have it a go. Even if we don't go on the little train ride, we can just look at the theming they've put in and look at what they've done to the area. And that's the third Ville. It looks like they're going down this Ville theme now. We've got Adventureville, which was the first with the brand new dark ride for 2016, which was built on the old site of Devil's Creek. Then we had Over the Hill get re to Over the Hill to Spooksville in 2017. Then also in 28, uh, 2018, last year, Crooked House got a re to that style of theming. And now we've got Trueville for this year as well, so they are going down that Ville thing, uh, story. But it looks like they are still putting through rides in, like Axis we've also got this year. So that's two new things at Adventure Island this year, and we'll be down there again soon. Haven't done Axis yet, and that's another thing to see, see Trueville. 
And uh, yeah, um, next from Universal's Hollywood, early in the month, I did say I'll give you a, like, a round up of what's happened in the last month. At Universal's in Hollywood, they have opened the Jurassic World ride, which is a re-theme of the Jurassic Park ride, which opened back in 96, I believe. Uh, it's been re-themed for the new movies of Jurassic World. Jurassic Park came out in 1993, pretty old now, the film, but it's still a good film. Uh, so it's been re-themed for the newer films, which Jurassic World that came out in 2015, and the sequel came out in 2018. I do like the films, I do find them quite enjoyable. But it is, I don't, I'm not keen on the first bit, but they've still kept some bits, and I do like the big dinosaur fight that's happening with the Indominus and the T-Rex at the end before you drop. They've still kept the classic T-Rex in and a couple of other bits as well, so just a re-theme. Get it into that new brand, but it don't look like it's happening in Florida with the construction of a new roller coaster, which is probably going to get the Jurassic World theme, while Jurassic Park River Ride eventually still stays as a Jurassic Park attraction. But why I didn't film this on the last day of July, I filmed it on the first day of August, because Universal in Orlando have made a big announcement of a fourth park at the resort, joining Universal Studios Florida. Universal's Island of Adventure and Universal's Volcano Bay will be a new park which will be Universal's Epic Universe which will be opening in a few years time I believe. It's in a new plot of land they've got and they're really trying to get against Disney and make it a place where you stay for about a week and enjoy everything there with City Walk, there's hotels and I do prefer Universal to Disney. And uh, yeah, they haven't announced anything in there, just it's going to be a new park and there's some looking at, they did a concept art of looking at it from the sky down and there's some things I can spot on there, some rumours as well, uh, but looking at it, there is, look, looking at the plans, there's a huge entrance area and it looks like Nintendo World as well, I looked at the plan, it definitely looks like Nintendo World, I think we knew Nintendo World would be coming as it's been confirmed to Japan, so it looks like Mario and then a bit of Donkey Kong and Yoshi at the end, hopefully there's that Mario Kart where I go in there because that looks brilliant. Uh, looking at the back though, it's like a town area, that looks like the rumoured classic monsters area based on all your classic monsters as Dracula and Frankenstein and a uh, little fact about Frankenstein, he was played by Boris Karloff, I don't know why I know that but I do know it, uh, so that will be the classic, there's a big arena, is it the dreams of some of us theme park fans that Beetlejuice's Graveyard Review has came, is going to come back? It's unlikely, that show was good, uh, but uh, yeah, Beatles is such a funny character, but shame that, went, shame that went from Universal Studios Florida, so hopefully it does uh, maybe return there, or maybe not. There's a whole area though with a new roller coaster, a Jordan roller coaster, and it looks like it's going to have a how to train your dragon theme, but then there's the roller coaster, which is two roller coasters fighting each other, so is it, if it is a how to train your dragon area, is it going to be the next generation of dueling dragons? Uh, we can wish. Um, but then there's one area with a castle, it looks, and red tiles and the buildings. I love the Shrek films, and those red tiles definitely look like they are from Far Far Away, which is in Shrek. So, maybe it's not, but I would love a Shrek themed area. I love Shrek 4D in Universal Studios Florida, but I don't mind losing that attraction if we do get a fully fledged Shrek ride. I can imagine a full fledged Shrek dark ride on the scale of Harry Potter. It would just be amazing. Going through all the scenes going through his swamp up to far, far away, I think it will be brilliant. That's it, it for news headlines this month. Let's get into merchandise showcase. So this week in, um, this month, I mean, it's still hard to get over this uh, whole monthly change to the show. Uh, but this month in Merchandise Showcase, I have got a resin here. I did pick up from Alton Towers. Check out the vlogs. We went up there for, stayed in the Alton Towers Hotel. Had a really good two days up there. Alton Towers is quite far away from where I live, so it's always a good time when we go up there. I've got a new Nemesis resin of the uh, loop there. I need the new Nemesis one. Got an old one of the barrel roll, still the best coaster at Alton, even though Wicker Man is pretty good, Wicker Man is really close, but I think Nemesis still steals the crown at Alton Towers is best ride and still the third best roller coaster in the UK behind the Swarm and Icon, which is now my favourite. All that alien theme. Nemesis is such a good ride and if we didn't have this we wouldn't have got such fantastic rides around the world. And John Wardley, he did a great job with this ride. And it is a fantastic being him in the lot better than Nemesis Inferno and a lot better than Black Mamba at Fantasia. And I actually found Black Mamba pretty boring and forceless. 
all my group came off of it and was really really liked it, but I came off of it not feeling the same as every time I come off Nemesis, I am speechless. Let's get into my future opinion. So this week in my future opinions, I'm actually going to talk a bit about, surprisingly, Legoland Windsor. Uh, with Legoland Windsor, Imagination Centre, I would really like to, it's there at the top, I would really like to see a massive refresh around there. A massive, massive refresh, especially with the Space Tower uh, gone. I think we need a new flat ride to replace the Space Tower, maybe a new drop tower. Uh, and maybe retheme all those buildings, keep the education centre in, retheme that, take, uh, give Lego Reef a proper themed facade, take that shop out, put a proper shop in, remove the sky ride or make a better monorail or refurb it, because that sky ride, which is the monorail, is never open due to wind levels, which is quite sad because you can get some stunning views, especially with Space Tower gone now. You can't get those lovely views without going right up to the side over Miniland, up in the sky, it's really good on Skyride. And the 4D cinema, that needs to be more permanent because that is literally like a tent at the moment. Uh, it is a tent, basically. Same style tent as what's over at Kingdom of the Pharaohs for the queue of um, Laser Raiders, which ain't a good ride at all, is it? It's not worth the queue, you have to wait for it, to be honest, isn't it? That queue gets ridiculous. And the fact, I actually got stuck in there with a breakdown, then a fire alarm, then the lights came on, yeah, really weird, lights came on, ride stopped, lights came on, power cut, fire alarm, we all had to get out, so uh, we did get a free fast track, which uh, you can't complain about when you get a free fast track. Let's get into the final section of the show, it's made a return, it weren't even last month's show, it's made a return from the week's show, it is Shout Outs. So let's talk about how shoutouts works in this new monthly show. You will only get a shout out if you comment on the monthly show. So not the other videos, it's a bit long going through every single vlog, seeing you comment in and writing their name down. So it's only if um, you've commented on the week monthly show. So if you want to shout out in next month's show for September, then put your put a comment down below or like the video and you will get a shout out. So let's get to this month's shout outs for Walk Up 90, thank you for commenting. Mr. Duncan's Vlogs, thank you for commenting. And Molly Wiltshire, also thank you for commenting. That's it for this month's show. Uh, yeah, there's some vlogs, one more vlog to come on from the Formula One British Grand Prix. It's a bit different, it was an amazing weekend, really good race. And uh, yeah, you'll see the video from that. We were there from, um, for Saturday for practice free and qualifying, and also for Sunday for the Grand Prix itself. And there's some other bits of red arrows flew over, did a little display. So if you like cars or planes and all that, do give it a watch. And if you like vehicles in general or Formula One, uh, and uh, give it a watch. Then we are doing two theme park trips in these next few weeks. Uh, we are in Cyprus in a few weeks' time, where we will be going to a small park called Paphos Lunar Park. I uh, can't wait, there's a credit there I want to get, it's only a caterpillar, but it looks quite a nice park to go to, and I like doing the smaller parks. Uh, give them a bit of support, and uh, show you a video, and because it's a smaller park, they hopefully allow on ride filming. And also, we'll be going to back to Plopsaland de Pain in Belgium, love that park, can't wait to get back on Anubis the ride, which is a fantastic Gerstlauer launch coaster, and also can't wait to try out Heidi the Ride, the GTR wooden coaster that was getting built when I was last there, three years ago, so we're going to give that a go, and I love Wicker Man, and I've heard this is a lot better, so uh, yeah, can't wait to give it a go, and probably down to Fort Park again soon, to see what's going on with Loggers Leap and this construction of this Deep Quick Sawmill L Limited, if it's going to be the maze. And also to check out Bounce Zilla, which is the Bouncy Castle assault course, it's only there for summer. And also to try out Jungle Escape, which is the new jungle themed escape room, which is the replacement to I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. Uh, so we need to give that a go. I think they're closed in September because it's not going to be ready for, I don't think it's going to be open for Fright Night. So with that, I'm doubting that something's going to go in there for Fright Night. So maybe this new chilling challenge might be in the old Saw Alive building. So um, yeah. 
That's it for this month's show. Don't forget to watch the videos that have now come, came online. Don't forget to watch the Formula 1 British Grand Prix vlog when it's online. And don't forget to watch the vlogs from Pathos Luna Park and Plopsaland de Pain. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe. We're on one, 289 subscribers, so one more from 290. And then we're going to hit that big 300 subscriber mark. That's it for this month's episode. Bye.